Experienced boater Mike Fritz says he always uses a life jacket out here at Lake Pleasant because he has seen just how dangerous these waters can be. The water's cold here and a lot of times you see folks sitting out here on a hot day and then they jump in the water without a life jacket and that cold water grabs them. Incidents like these are why Maricopa County Parks, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Lake Patrol and Arizona Game and Fish held their second annual boating and hiking safety press conference. So we're seeing obviously a lot of people that are just not prepared, don't know the laws of the water and not taking care of hydrating um, and even be swimming beyond their abilities or not using the right equipment. So anything from swimmers that may be dehydrated, may have consumed alcohol, not wearing personal flotation devices or life jackets as they're commonly known and tragic drownings do occur. We see over 200 rescues every year by MCSO for people that are in distress while they're hiking and a lot of that is heat related. The last few summers we've had a lot of fires in our county parks and we want to make sure that people are aware that we have a fire ban in place. Maricopa County Parks and Recreation has installed a new wind warning system and message boards at Lake Pleasant to increase boater safety. Three of the islands we've put up 30 foot masts um, that have wind warning or wind measuring devices. So when a wind gets near 20 miles an hour, strobe lights start going off to alert boaters that, hey, it's maybe time to go back into shore. Arizona Game and Fish is offering a life jacket loaner program to encourage swimmers not to get into the water without one. Still, when it comes to water and hiking safety, you are your biggest advocate. First of all, don't go swimming alone. Secondly, really avoid uh, driving a boat and drinking alcohol. And third, wear a safety vest. And of course, always be aware of the surroundings of your children uh, if you're with kids. And especially if you, for whatever reason, God forbid, can't find a child, check the water first. And then if you go hiking, make sure you're plenty hydrated. Let people know in advance where you're going and bring a buddy with you. Don't go alone. We want our park visitors to have a great and safe experience. We want them to return home with great memories. Doesn't get much better in Lake Pleasant.